wicked machinations of the music business. In light of seeing that a rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex. Period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people. But they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time, you know. They create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much, but in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. The government has wanted to hold down communities of people in different ways, through different methods, for a very long time. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex, and money so that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. And in doing so, they created a world that also made people more dependent on government and as a result, gave themselves more power. The record executives that push you to do this, to go and continue to profit off the backs of your work, they're in cahoots with the elite. They're in cahoots with the government. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them, so stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience. You have platforms. You have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing, valuing life than they are of anything else. So I challenge you, use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. How many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult. And they do it because, frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it, but we know the labels are doing it 100%. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end and you see on a royalty check, oh, they spent 150,000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150,000. Okay, so where did the money go? And to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. And that's the truth. So change the culture. You have the power. Your people deserve it. Now one thing that stood out.